previously on Soda 360. Summit's on the air with the Ham Ninja. Okay, I can't do this anymore. I gotta come clean with you. You know what? You've been getting ripped off. So for the past year or more, you've only been seeing a part of soda. I haven't showed you the whole thing. I feel like you're kind of getting ripped off by me, maybe some of the other bloggers too. Hey, look, we're showing you maybe the most glamorous, maybe the most interesting part. Hiking, great views, um, getting on the radio, making contacts all over the world. But uh, you've been getting cheated out of how do we plan this stuff? So what is it? So I've decided to start a new series called Soda 360. I'm really excited to get this thing going because what I'll do is I'll go a little bit of an intro. What the heck is soda? Why do we do it, etc. Talk a little bit about prominence, what makes a soda peak. Some of the things that you've been missing on all these other videos, which is, you know, maybe like any other traveling video. So we'll talk specifically about summits on the air and ham radio in this episode. In these episodes, actually. So we'll start off with a couple of uh, videos on planning, intro and planning. Uh, then we'll talk about how to get there. That's not too hard. We got GPS, charts, and some other things. Um, we'll go through the setup of my station and how I do it. Uh, spotting, how I do that. What the heck is spotting? Why do it? And then maybe activate a peak. Definitely activate a peak. Um, we'll use sideband, hopefully uh, some CW. We'll chase some other guys on summits. And uh, so we'll do that, pack it all up, certainly want to get home safely. And then at the end, there's a little bit of paperwork to be done. How do we finish this thing off? So we'll talk a little bit about how I get the, my logs my, from my logging program uploaded to the SOTA website to get my points. Um, I downloaded it onto my computer and some other things. So we'll go over all those things. It's kind of more of a 360 look at SOTA rather than just that one little picture. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Okay, you made it to part four of the SOTA 360 video series. So in this episode, we're going to talk about the finish. We started out with an intro about SOTA. So if you haven't seen that, go to part one. Uh, just click on the link for uh, my, my uh, videos and you can see that. Um, in the intro, we talked about what is SOTA why do it, uh, and a few other broad uh, brush topics on SOTA. Um, and because SOTA is a little bit more than ham radio, we talked a lot about planning and how I do planning um, for what I'm going to bring. We talked about what I bring. Uh, we talked about safety and some of the gear that uh, are around the 10 essentials that uh, reduce risk um, and what I do about reduce what I do to reduce risk while out hiking. Um, and then uh, in that, uh, I think it was part th uh, two, we talked about uh, charting, how to chart. Uh, one, uh, we picked a summit, of course, there's a couple different ways to pick summits. And then we charted uh, how we're going to get there, pulled out alltrails.com, and uh, drew some maps on how to get to the summit. Sometimes it's pretty darn easy, you just follow the trail, or you just drive up there, that'd be the easiest. Um, once we finished with that, then we did a reference activation. So we did the part that you typically see on YouTube videos. So we uh, got in the car, got out to the trailhead, uh, hiked up to the top of the mountain. Uh, I showed a little bit about how I set up. That was pretty darn straightforward and simple. Um, I talked about self-spotting and why do it and how do you do it. Uh, there's several different ways that I can spot, uh, even if I don't have cell service. Uh, then we did our thing. So we got on the radio, uh, got four contacts. Uh, we either called CQ or we chased other summits, uh, um, guys on other summits, so that was a lot of fun. Um, then we got home safe, and that's why I was able to make this video. So now we're to the last video, part four, and we had to finish the paperwork and uh, say thanks. This is completely optional, and uh, if you have done soda and you've done this, you could probably skip this whole thing. But if you're new to soda, maybe some of this is interesting. So I'll talk about downloading contacts. Um, I tweaked the file to make sure my summit to summits are on there. 
so I get those points. I upload it to Soda Data. Um, I also upload export from my uh, logging program on my phone to my Shack Log, and then you can uh, optionally upload it to QRZ, uh, Logbook of the World, and then I uh, will talk about sending uh, uh, QSL cards. And I do uh, write a blog as you may know. It's HamNinja.com uh, about most of my hikes. Um, so let's get started about uh, and talk about exporting logs from my logging program. And just one thing to note is this is for iOS. You may have your own method for logging context. Could it be on paper? Um, if you have an Android, uh, I hear that uh, VK Portal Log is awesome, so you might want to do that. And uh, since I don't have it, I can't show you how to do it. But I'll assume that you can, you know how to export your logs uh, if you have something other than this. So this is just a quick little spot on how I do that. Here are some of the tools that I have loaded onto my iPhone. One of them is called Hamlog. The little icon says 73. Here's a contact from yesterday. Um, as you can see, that was uh, to W6SC453. We're going to send the contacts to the logging program. So I'm going to go to Tools, Export Logs, and they have a Soda CSV version 2. That's Comma Separated Value version 2. So it is to SC453. And I'll say Enter. And now all I do is email those to myself, and voila. Okay, for the next step for me, um, now that I've sent the, the log from my phone to my computer, I put that on a place on my computer so I can upload it and open it in a text file. Um, it, I can use Notepad, there's TextPad, there's a lot of other programs. And what I do is I find the Summit to Summits uh, entries that I had, and I put a comma, and then W6 slash CT056. That is his summit. Um, so as you can see, I got two summit to summits here. I think I had three, but I uh, botched the call sign so bad that uh, I couldn't find it. Uh, there was a couple different entries. So um, it's very simple. You might be able to make this with um, Excel. I think some people guys do. Um, it's just a simple comma separated values. That's what CSV stands for. Um, if your logging program on your phone um, or device that you're using on the mountain like I do can export you export uh, hopefully it has a soda feature because it has to be in a very specific format and uh, then just mail that to yourself um, you don't have to do it this way um, you can upload them or basically enter your contacts one by one on the soda data web page and then you can also then you have to go back and enter in your uh, summit to summits uh, to get all of your points. Uh, so that brings up a good point of, of why do you want to get points? Why would I want to upload to Soda Data? I'm going to stick them in my log and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute, my shack log, and I'm done. Well, for one thing, you get your points. No big deal. Um, maybe you're not in it for the points. <clears throat> you just enjoy hiking like I do, and that's good enough for you. There's one extra bonus that you get by doing this, and I'm going to cover it at the very end. I'm going to make you watch the end, or you can just skip ahead. So it's a pretty couple pretty cool features by uploading this. Um, the other thing is um, for other people on summits that you chased, for instance, I chased these two guys, so I think one of them called me and then I chased the other one, is um, they can quickly see who chased them um, as well. So, uh, and the people that are chasers, uh, they may have a different view and they can see confirmations or something. I'm not quite sure. So anyway, um, I'm going to upload these to Soda Data. Um, there's one other file that I will show you um, that I didn't show exporting from my logging program on the iPhone, but it also exports in the ADI format. Or excuse me, ADF. Yeah, ADI format. Hang on, ADF, ADI, um, which uh, my logging program. Uh, which is from N3JFP, uh, Amateur Contact Log, it will actually import that file. Now there's a couple of tweaks that I have to do to it actually, or just one for sure, which is change uh, notes to comment, I think it is. I always get it backwards. Is it notes to comment or comment to notes? 
but uh, once I just do a, a search and replace on that, then it imports great, including all the, the comments. Um, I do have a custom field, a couple of custom fields on uh, my, my Shack logging program. So I do another kind of uh, global search and replace and, and um, kind of add that this was soda and what my summit is, etc. It goes in a couple of fields in there. So it's just a quick way of uh, being able to upload it into your Shack log as well. So that's kind of a big bonus if you do like to keep track of uh, the various summits uh, and what have you. So uh, what we're going to do next is take that comma separated value file um, that I just showed you and upload that to Soda Data. So let's do that next. Okay, hopefully this part is straightforward for you. Um, what we're going to do is I'm at sodadata.org.uk slash en um, and that puts me onto the English version of this guy. So I'm going to click on the menu item up here, this hamburger looking thing, and go to uh, Submit Logs, and I'm going to go Upload CSV TSV Log File. So I'm going to choose that. Then I'm going to find the file, so let's go find the file. It should be right here, Twin Peaks, and here it is, the CSV file, so I'm going to double click on that. Um, and it's ready to be uploaded. So, let's click on that baby. It gives you a preview before it does the upload. It also checks the file to see that there aren't any problems, uh, that you didn't somehow enter uh, the summit incorrectly. So if you have any invalid summits in here, it'll catch it. If you have an invalid call sign, I'm not sure it will check that for that. It also shows the uh, summit, uh, summit to summits that you get in here. So you've got the file formatted correctly and it has a little check mark in there that says summit to summit. So if you do have duplicates in there I think it catches those as well. So all we need to do is submit that. Did you say what's next? I sure did Chris. Well let me tell you. Now I'm going to upload the uh, ADA file into uh, my contact logging program. It's pretty simple uh, for me. I've depending on what you use it may be a little bit more difficult but uh, I just go to file import the uh, ADA file it actually never looks in the right place for it so I'm gonna go here and as you can see it only brings up the dot ADI files so I'll double click on that guy and voila done finito and let's just say I want to upload <clears throat> all of these guys to logbook of the world well all I need to do is go into uh, my e-logging and since I've already set this up um, it is a bit of a pain in the butt to set up I will tell you that um, I just go ahead and say upload to the logbook of the world it gives me this form and uh, now I'm gonna say just selected contacts from main form and let's hope that this works uh, yeah, let's see it is complaining that I have a duplicate in there so I need to go in there and fix that but in general that's really all you need to do um, if you're using this program it really does depend on which logging uh, uh, program you have in your shack so there you go not too hard let's go to the next step next step well uh, we talked about uh, after uploading the shack log what about QRZ so we did that we uploaded to logbook of the world and uh, hey, let's be thankful. So this whole soda thing has a lot of yin-yang to it. You have activators and you have chasers, and we kind of need each other. Uh, the chasers need somebody to chase, and uh, the activators need somebody to chase them. So um, why not send a little thanks out there? Uh, to me, it's like a little bit of karma. I get my karma points by uh, sending thanks. I enjoy sending QSL cards. Um, Actually, I'm new to the hobby, but I found that it's really pretty cool that uh, some hams are still doing this. So I had some uh, QSL cards made up, and then uh, I used the same design uh, uh, to make some business cards. And my kids actually had some patches made for me uh, that I put on my gear. Uh, they did that for Christmas. That's pretty, pretty, pretty swanky. Um, so I send these out, and uh, as it turns out, uh, the karma is uh, rewarded because I have a whole wall. <clears throat> excuse me, of QSL cards that other people have sent me. So it's certainly a fun little thing to do. Okay, bonus time. So let's go back out to sodamaps.org. 
www.ghostbusters.org. Uh, hopefully you can see it up here. I'll put it into the video if, just in case. And uh, there's a cool feature. If you log in, we're going to do something kind of cool. You'll see an activations mapping. I see they have one also for uh, Chase's mapping page. But let's look at activations mapping page. Now, this is really cool because what it does is it reaches in. Um, I'm just going to load. Oh, let's see, it's initializing here. Um, so it has my call sign up here. And so for my activator, I'm going to load in. It's possible I could load in somebody else's too. Um, this, all this information is public. So it's going to go out to the SOTA data database and pull in all of my um, SOTA since April 31st, 2017. Now, there's a couple of things that are really cool about this. Let's just take, uh, for example, this one in Arizona. Um, I'm going to just run my mouse over it. You can see I activated that last on 4-21-2018, and I'd had 22 QSOs up there. There's one over here in Arizona that I did, uh, a bunch of these along the Muggy on Rim. And you can see I did that one twice. Um, I did this one, there's a couple over, three over here in New Mexico that I did. Um, there's another one, let's see, there should be one here that has three activations maybe. But these are all of my activations. Um, and of course, you can see across uh, the whole US. So I'm hoping to cover more of the map with summits that I've done. But here is the really cool part. I'm going to go down to choose uh, this one on 2014. I was up on a peak here not too far from San Diego. I'm going to click on that guy. Check this out. It's going to bring up a map that shows all of the QSOs that I had. So it reaches into the database, pulls the QSOs, and the location for each one of those out of the database since it knows call sign to location, obviously and you get this really cool map. So you can see I made a contact down here in New Zealand um, and then a bunch from the from the all the way from the coast to coast. This is a really cool graphic and uh, certainly a lot of fun to, fun to do and, and just kind of see. So that is the big bonus um, and why uh, I enjoy uploading my contacts and getting my points. Of course when I get to a thousand I'll be able to uh, to gloat over the other soda Padawans because I made it soda goat. So um, <laughs> if that's your thing, you can do that too. But uh, yeah, a thousand points you get uh, soda goat. I think you have to print out your own certificate and hang it on the wall. And I'm sure your wife will be, or or husband, will be uh, extremely proud of you. <laughs> well, that brings us to the end of part four, and actually the last video of the series. Soda 360. Um, thanks for uh, watching if you've watched this far. Um, <clears throat> it's been fun and a learning exercise for me. I did these videos so that uh, people that are trying to learn about soda have never done it before. Um, this is just one more piece of information. There are a lot of other soda activators and chasers out there that have 10x the amount of experience that I do. Um, seek those people out see how they're doing it, see if you can find a friend that's already doing it, and uh, go out with them. It's a lot of fun to go out and hike with uh, fellow ham operators and, uh, and activate peaks. I've been hiking uh, recently with K6ARK. Uh, he's a lot of fun, and uh, he is the Soda Yoda. He's been doing it much longer than I have. He makes some really cool stuff, um, and uh, this guy knows hiking like you would not believe. So a lot of fun. Uh, and hike with another guy, uh, W6RWS. So find a friend, go out and do some hikes with them, uh, do some joint activations, and uh, have fun out there. This uh, final note, <clears throat> you can go to hamninja.com and get a link to my YouTube channel. Um, push the subscribe button on this uh, uh, video to get note or to see when new videos show up. You can click on the bell if you want to be notified about uh, new videos, although I don't know if my uh, videos really rank uh, up there high enough uh, to, <laughs> to really get notified about them. But uh, have fun, and uh, thanks for watching. 73.